Hey, I'm Marcus. I'm Atrax. And I'm Nick. We are Working Class Nerds. Cue the intro. That's right, we are Working Class Nerds, the podcast that gives you no information about your favorite information. Today is Thursday, January 11th, 2023, and you can find this 183 podcast on Apple Podcasts, Buzzsprout, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, Rumble, and anywhere you can find a podcast in the galaxy far, far away. You can also find every single Working Class Nerds episode on YouTube. Just search for the Working Class Nerds podcast or go to youtube.com slash MarcusB814. Click on playlists, click on Working Class Nerds, and boom! Every episode, past and present, right at your fingertips. You can watch me play video games every single Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday at twitch.tv slash MarcusB814. You can watch me play video games every single Monday night at twitch.tv slash NickVern51. And you can find us all on the social medias. I'm at MarcusB814. I am Atrax underscore A. And I'm at Nick Vern. That's an ACKV on in this week's episode. We have one of our absolute favorite guests of all time, a magnificent Twitch streamer and an even better person. Welcome back to the show, Kitty. Burp, 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 burp. Hi, you guys. Doo-doo. First of all, I would like to say congratulations on uh, the tech actually working. We have okay, tried yes. this. This is the third time we have tried to record an episode together, and it finally came through. And I, I'm very happy. Last time I was all juiced up on G Fuel, and then nothing happened. I was like, <laughs> "Oh, that's but the worst." It's now, like taking, uh, are you juiced up today? It's like taking a Viagra. And oh, not I'm juiced doing up. Anything. Yeah. Let's I, go. I, yeah. It was. Uh, I was. It was very sad, <laughs> but yes. We are finally here together, and it's great to see you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Dude, it, we were so excited to have you on a couple of weeks ago, and when it wasn't working, it was just like... Sad. Wah, wah, wah. I know, I listened to the podcast, and where you guys usually talk to a guest, you're, you know, the... What are you guys doing in there? And I went, what? That's it? They didn't do anything? <laughs> they just left it. <laughs> we, did, we, did. we just ended. Our souls <laughs> were, were our souls were empty without you. I know. Uh, I was like, oh. Hey, Atrax, can you turn up your mic? He yeah. seems so low to me, or is it me? It's just you. Atrax it is? Sounds, yeah. It sounds a little low. Right. A little low? I can get a little closer, too. There you go. That's there perfect. Right there. You know what's cool? Right, nice. I can I can turn I can adjust everybody's volume. Well, I can turn people down, but I can't pump them up. Oh, mm. pump, we're using new right. we're using new software. Everybody, new, yeah, software. new software. Zencasters is out and Riverside is in because Zencaster would not work with Kitty for whatever reason, but this works just fine. Um, yeah, we've been trying to get shit working for what do you think? Two hours? Yeah, around we, two we, hours we, today. Yeah, I would say so. We started at six thirty. We took a a quick break at. Like what, seven thirty, seven forty, something like that, and then we reconvened at eight thirty. But we now we're working. Perseverance, yes. motherfucker. Exactly. Uh, so, Kitty, what have you been up to? How are things? Things are fantastic. There's so much that I am can't wait to talk to you guys about. I've got notes. I didn't wow. want to put them. I didn't want to put them in the show notes because I don't want you guys to know what I'm going to talk about. Ah. Uh-huh. <gasps> A surprise. And Secrets. One thing I know is uh, a lot of people have been talking about it online. Um, there's a lot of going on about it. The people, anyway, it's a big topic that I wanted to convene with you guys and let you know exactly what's going on. Okay. And that is no gray pubes yet. I've got nothing but regular <laughs> wow. color pubes. <laughs> wow. All right. I was not expecting that. All right. And oh, my God. Now, is that because you dye them or just naturally? No, I'm waiting for them because I'm going to be 52 in June. Yeah. And a bunch of people are getting gray pubes, and I still haven't got any. And I find it a little suspicious 
because I would ask my parents, but you know, sadly, they're not here with us anymore. But um, let's say that I've been uh, we, I I've got manscaped. Okay, so, well, that's so I'm, awesome. I'm down there, you know, shaving the field, and fairly off. So yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm down the lawn. there, yeah. really mm-hmm. giving it a good eyeful, and still not even one. <laughs> <laughs> not even one that's and, great I, I, uh, I guess enjoy it while it lasts right <laughs> i feel i'm king of the world yeah <laughs> so this is what i've heard from a couple people is okay. that you don't just get one you get a whole bunch and then the whole huh. patch is no it's, it spreads like uh i don't even know what like spreads, wildfire what, wildfire <laughs> yeah that's fire. what i thought too <laughs> crotch fire but what about? I mean, you guys are younger than I am. Do you, what are you guys? What's the situation? Any grays? Uh, I don't have any grays in the pubic region, but I do have like one right, basically where my headphone strap. The is. alfalfa. Yeah, close to the alfalfa. Uh-huh. Like if I if I was a Jewish person and wore a yarmulke, it'd be in there somewhere. Be covered up. Yeah, that's good. What about you Marcus? Go. You got kids. You got to be having grays. I get He's gray got- in my beard. Uh huh. But not but- in the pubo. Nothing. No. A-Trax? Nope. Blonde okay, everywhere. Hold on. I need to write this. Very important. <laughs> Clinical study here. He's All referring right. to his notebook. <laughs> All right. I'll, good hey, I'll, I'll, yeah. be your, I'll be your research coordinator on this study. Okay. okay? Great. Yeah. Um, I don't. <laughs> well, so I will call it out. Um, so recently, I don't know how it happened. I got a message. So it was during the day. I'm standing in some fucking cabinet. And I get a message from Tsunami that said, dude, you need to go to Kitty Stream right now. And I was like, why? He's like, dude, I don't have words. You need to get in there right now. <laughs> so I go in there and they're talking and somebody says, is this real? And he was like, yeah, we're getting married. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. When did that happen? So the story is Kitty and Kitty met. As if you listen to their episode where they both came on, they met via Kitty Kitty Kisses stream. Kitty, that's with us now, and it was a match made in heaven. Crazy, crazy. It it's started insane. off with Twitch chat and ended with them living together and now getting engaged. Yeah, fucking nuts. Kuma Matata, circle of life, baby. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's great. She's the one. I have never, I've never met anyone that I'm more compatible and attracted to simultaneously. So it's a, it's a win-win. It's great. That's We're not amazing. sure exactly when we are going to tie the knot, but we have an idea of when we're going to do it, which is probably around uh, September or something like that. But well, we, we have an anniversary on September 11th. And we were thinking, do we want to get married on September 11th? Because fuck you, terrorists. We're taking the day back. Okay. You know? Okay. There yep. you go. Which yeah. would be cool. Yeah. And we, for our, for our anniversary, well, you know, the, our last year's anniversary and the first time that we went on a date, we basically yeah. walked around Portland. And so for our anniversary, we, we did it again. We went to all the different spots, took pictures of each other at those spots so that as the years go by, we'll, you know, eventually, do that again. yeah, eventually we'll be two old people, you know, getting Ubers to get to the spots that we, we want to go to. <laughs> but we're thinking that on our walk this year, we're just going to go to uh, the courthouse and get, get married. Well, you can, that's, that's one way for idea. sure. I like yeah. that, honestly. It's just like between you two, it's more private, you know? Yeah, I don't want a big yeah. wedding. She doesn't want a big wedding. And it's yeah. cost effective. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. So uh, I, I think it'd be good that way, personally. I agree, but I also strongly disagree. Oh, shit. And no, 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 no. Courthouse, perfect. Mm-hmm. But. For me now, like th- vivid memories of my wedding, like take mm-hmm. out the ceremony, take out the ridiculous reception. 
one of my R- best memories. Ridiculous. <laughs> well, my, yes, it was. It's because my my five closest friends were in one room at the same time, <laughs> and you can't put all five of us together and not expect mayhem. So, right. but my point is, guilty is I would, I wouldn't want to get married and not have a dinner afterwards and invite the people you care about. And I'm not saying mom and dad, cause okay, it's going to be fucked up. Like I love my mom. <laughs> I love my sister. I love, I love those people. Right. But at the end of the day, my five friends mm-hmm. being in that room meant more to me. Like I have a selfie of me and Nick in front of the ocean on yep. my wedding day and I'm in my shit and he's in his shit. Nick is wasted. Okay. <laughs> yes, I am. He's yeah, on that, that picture, you can't tell too bad, but yeah, but other ones you definitely can. <laughs> yeah. But like, but like those are the memories that I'll never forget. Like sure. You're saying I do. And I love my wife and all that stuff. But like really, truly like I couldn't, I can't picture going back. And not having my friends there. Right. Yeah. Like, I, I understand and, and like, that. I uh, like, that. I, I'm not saying I could, but like, hey, Marcus, it, there's a restaurant called Big Cocks R Us, and we're having a dinner there. Hey, Nick, you want to jump a plane and go to Portland? You know what sure. I'm saying? Yeah, Every I got the meal's rewards. a mouthful. Right. <laughs> Uh, that's a that's a great catch like slogan for a restaurant <laughs> but yeah so yeah. that's that's the only way so i agree with the whole i agree with the idea of like courthouse and doing all that stuff i completely get that but like you should even if it's not on that day you should have a dinner where you can invite some friends mm, and we're both not that person though yeah i hear you our our favorite thing is going all right let's just go to bed let's go watch tv let's go for a walk you know it, it's usually more private we're very private which yeah. is kind of seems weird because you know we do a lot of stuff online we were thinking about having a wedding in game well, you can like, do that totally nerding out and doing the wedding thing i feel like that that, that would kind of you hear him that's is that next to our wedding yeah hold on i gotta let him out Oh yeah, no problemo. I feel like a wedding in Swotor would be would be fun. It kind of like scratches both itches. Where it's like, I tried. Where it's I pl- fucking tried. I just I just wanted the fucking invite. <laughs> I that would be, like I knew you were fishing too. Yeah, in my head, I was going fishing. fuck yeah. I'll go. I'll come to Portland for a <laughs> like, few guys. Carrie, Carrie, Carrie. My friend's getting married. I'm flying to Portland for a uh, couple nights. Right. Me and Nick are going. See ya. Yep. Like I got the I got the tickets. I got <laughs> I'm, I got, I'm I got the venture enough. card. I was gonna say enough, I would crash come by it too. as like a waiter. I'd come in, just be like, hors d'oeuvres, hors d'oeuvres, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Scallop wrapped in bacon. Yeah, yeah just, just kidding. Just kidding. Just. Yeah. But no, but seriously, Kitty. Um, congratulations, man. That's fucking awesome. Thank you. It's uh, it's pretty. Aw- I can't wait. I'm like, I'm I'm happier than I've ever been in my life. Hell yeah, getting, man. Life That's keeps getting awesome. better. It's fucking great. That's awesome. I'm super yeah. happy for you, man. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, speaking of being uh, engaged and all that stuff, another fun thing, Kitty and I both are allergic to having children. Ah, Other people's I see. kids are great. So I got a vasectomy. Wow! Congrats on all the all right. stress-free yeah. cream pies. Another reason why uh, I know that I don't have any gray pubes. I had a professional check. <laughs> like, hey, while you're down there, can you just see if there's any gray ones? Oh, uh, that's funny. I'm still yeah. stuck on what Nick said. <laughs> what? Oh, I think I think it got glossed over. I go, hey, no, congrats no. on all the stress-free cream pies. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's the best. There, uh, what was I gonna say? Crap! Now all I can think about is cream pies. Yep. No, the gray hairs while you're getting. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, oh, and Kitty went. Jody. Yep. Yeah. She went and uh, she watched the whole procedure. Wow. Yeah. That and, that's pretty gangster. Yeah. That's and bleh. they don't knock you out. They gave me some uh, some local 
Numbing yeah, stuff, they, oh yeah, lots of local and um, what it, uh, something to take before I went. A volume, oh, thank you. Yes, and boy, oh boy, volumes, fucking great. Oh yes, it I is. Was like, Woo, hey, how's it going? And that is, uh, that is my favorite class of and drugs. And he showed us the Vaz differences uh, after he was done, like the pieces. Yeah, I got to see <laughs> the pieces. I uh, almost, I mean I would too, but I not wanted, fucking me. I wanted I'd to be film I would. It. I would. It was. Yeah, w- it was. You know what? It I wasn't that bad. Well. I think the entire procedure lasted twenty minutes. Right. Yeah, it's really quick. Yeah, it's quick. That's not and, too bad at all. Yeah. Yeah. I'll Get her over what. here. Get her over here. I want to say hi. Uh, they want to <laughs> say hi. She's right in the middle of killing something. Oh. So what? Let her. The game will do it for her. Do you want to come say hi? Okay. All right. She said she'll be in a second. Fun uh, fact about uh, visectomies. Yeah. Your balls, like your sack, turns black and blue. It looks oh, yeah. like a, a nebula. <laughs> it, is, <laughs> it is crazy. All right. <laughs> yeah, because you get... <laughs> a nebula. <laughs> I'm so, oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, I can't get over the nebula visual. I'm just, I know exactly it, what you but mean, but that's a perfect description. Well, so, so here's a funny thing: is Nick is thinking of space. I'm thinking a nebula from uh, the, oh, it's all Guardians, Guardians of, the, of the Galaxy. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, like oh that god. blue, dark blue, and dark blue head and light blue, <laughs> <laughs> the metal. Yeah, oh, oh, that's, that's awesome. Fucking awesome. That. Okay, here she is. You guys, that's hilarious. She was killing rat ghouls. Very nice. Down, say hi. How's Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I was killing rat ghouls. And How was that? I have a low B character in there, and you can't you can't mess up. You'll die like instantly. So it's fun. Right. I love it. It's my Wait, favorite. That's awesome. So, what were you thinking? When you were watching the vasectomy, that's what I want to know. What was I? Oh, I was what? just kind of interested in what they were doing. It doesn't look like much because they barely even cut. Yeah, it's a tiny your incision. They, they just take out the little piece of spaghetti, snip yeah, it looks the ends, like and burn it. Yeah, it hardly bleeds or anything. It's like it's really cool. Yeah, and then see oh you later, God. sperm highway. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my Don't god! Don't have to worry about that bullshit. Woo! Yeah, oh yeah, I'm definitely getting that once I'm done having kids, 100. percent But smart. That the will be sprinkler new thing. <laughs> exactly. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, highly uh, recommend. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's definitely the move. Marcus, so if you guys if you guys throw a festivity, uh, Nick uh-huh. and I are flying out. Oh, that'd be awesome if we did. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I don't. We're just kind of boring, I guess. But we, you know, we're just like, eh. We'll yeah, do our own little thing. That makes sense. I think um having doing a little shindig in in game would be cool too. That's, I feel like it would kind of scratch think, both itches, you know. See, yeah. I think Nick, we should just magically make a a, a, a weekend and we just go. <laughs> we just, hey, we're just visiting <laughs> Portland. Are you guys yeah. home by chance? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Hello. We wouldn't answer the door. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, right. Just... No, we no, we already know how to get in the house. Yeah. You have to be dressed up as a sand people. Oh, of course. Uh. That's easy. We already have those, you know, costumes right beside the bed, you know. Oh boy. Well, that's great. Well, congratulations. You're Thank awesome. You. You're Congratu- awesome. Congratulations. It. We're happy. It's great. Yay. Hell yeah. Yay. Here you can have a kitty back. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Was Kitty Treats, everybody? What was I going to say? Um, All right. I'm back. And he's back. So, Kitty, what else is in your notebook? Did you have other notes for us? Um, or is I'm, it mostly just full of, like, grape cubes, yes or no, tallies? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I, this is where I would have said that, oh, and I got engaged. But right. Marcus uh, spoiled it. Stole Marcus your thunder. stepped on it. That's okay. That's I couldn't keep it. that secret. That's about it, you guys. I'm just stoked to be here. Hell yeah. Just happy to be alive. Woo! And we're happy uh, to have you. Atrax, what have you been up to? I have been moving my house around because in 
continuation of this long kitchen remodel. Now the yep. floor is finally going in. And while we have the flooring guy in, we decided since the carpet in my room was like 30 years old, we would replace Ew. it with something <laughs> nice, some nice vinyl hardwood. Yeah, it was nice. I mean, it was well kept carpet, but it was still 30 year 30 old year carpet. Old carpet. So it was just. I'm glad I didn't have to rip that up. Yeah. Yeah. You guys me said- too. Wait a minute. I, I, I'm sorry. I can't let this go. A tracks. That might be the dumbest thing you've ever said. There is no such thing as vinyl hardwood. Is it a vinyl floor or hardwood floor? Well, okay, it's it's, it's a vinyl it's, floor, but it looks like hardwood. Right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That sorry, is Mark sorry. Carpenter. That's yeah. like my... No. If there's ever OCD, talk to me about carpentry. Right. I appreciate <laughs> I knew that. It, I knew what you meant for the record, Atrax. I knew you meant yeah. the, the vinyl, el- the luxury vinyl tile. Luxury that, uh, vinyl tile. The Walk LV around with no nice. shoes or socks on. It's very nice. It is very nice. I need to vacuum. That's my barometer for whether or not I need to vacuum because I live by myself. So, like, nobody's yelling at me that we have, I have to clean up. So, I'm like, hmm, right. have, if I walk around barefoot, do I step on crumbs more than three times? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because if I do, I'm like, ah, I got to vacuum. This is getting bad. <laughs> do my feet get dirty in my room? All right. Time All to right. vacuum. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's how it's going to be for me, too, because it's a darker uh, wood, too. It's a darker yeah. color. It's not oh, darker nice. wood. Sorry. Nice. It's a darker color. Darker color uh, pretending to be wood. Yeah. Darker color faux wood. Right. Simulated wood paneling. Yeah. Um, so that's been super nice, but also at the same time kind of sucks. In addition, I have, I don't know if anybody remembers, but on the one wall in my room, I still had a bunch of wallpaper. Oh, yeah. So yep. now that my room is empty, I can tear all that wallpaper down. And that's what I've been doing. So this past week, I think I've been up till at least 10 just working in my room on wallpaper and moving stuff out. And mm. it's, uh, you know, it's kind of nice being able to adjust rooms and, you know, make it a color that you like and make yeah. it look the way that you want to. But yeah. also... It's very tiring when you feel like your house is just in disarray and your uh, mattress is just in the middle of the living room. You're just kind of yeah, just yeah, kind of lay in there. It's like it's that's mentally taxing to have it. Like, it is chaos all the time. I right. totally understand. You're gonna feel way better once you're settled back into things. Yeah, and I, it's nice that my family went to the beach this week, so the house is totally empty. It's just me, so I can oh, that's nice branch out everywhere. But yeah. It's still, it's still rough. I, I can you. usually equate to the messiness of my room to the craziness of my brain. So yes. yep. the messier my room is, the more kind of out of whack I am. A hundred percent. If I'm like stressed about something or or whatever, then like, and I notice stuff starts to pile up. Like mm-hmm. I have a dishwasher and I'll just like leave dishes in the sink and not put them in the dishwasher or like, Put like, oh, I got to fold this laundry and like dump it on my dining room table. Marcus has seen this. And then just like, I'm going to fold it and then not fold it. So it stays there for three days and it's just a you pile just of laundry. You just pull from the pile. Yeah. yeah exactly. see, I, I never <laughs> yeah. dealt with that because I always, until I got married, I always brought my clothes to a laundromat for them to wash it and fold it. I didn't, I never knew that a laundromat did that service. They'll wash it for you. Yeah, so the place right down the road from your house is my old spot. You go there in the morning. You drop all your laundry off. They weigh it. They tell you how much it is. You pay for it. When you show back up, it's all perfectly folded, like like the most Pressed? perfectly folded clothes you'll ever have in your life. They put them individual, like socks, underwear, and white T-shirts go in one bag. Jeans and pants go in another bag. T-shirts go in another bag. It's perfect. So then I would go home, and I was just – so when I first met Carrie – I yeah. would put it in my drawers. She was like, wow, I'm so <laughs> impressed with your laundry. I'm like, that's right. She's like, wow. Little yeah. did she know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> your actual well, she, folding is just crumpling it into a ball and shoving it in the drawer. <laughs> no, I, I fold, but like, it's, I know, I'm just it, kidding. it's subpar. No, no, it's subpar. No doubt. So, yeah. Yeah. But I think I, my, my folding's probably like a B. So I do understand what you're saying, Atrax, and I agree when your life is like chaos and then your home is chaos, it's really hard to fucking concentrate. Yeah, it totally is. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I get it. 
Yeah, I and not having a kind of a gaming space either because I've had to move my desk around and it's had to be collapsed Oof. down and then put over here. And then, well, now this area is done so you can move all your stuff back. And now we're working over here, so we need you to clear this area. You know, all of that just constantly cycling stuff over oh, and over yeah. makes it uh, makes it a little bit rough. But I have rewarded myself for all of this "quote unquote" uh, pain, first sin- or uh, first world pain that I've been going through, having to remodel my house. I got some new PC parts. Woo woo! I upgraded from sixteen to thirty two gigs of RAM. Nice. That's gonna make a difference. And I gotta do oh that yeah, I replaced my old 250 gig solid state drive, which was now um, going on six years old. I replaced it with a new M2 solid state, which is a terabyte. Nice, very then, nice. Yeah, and then Quick. my old gaming hard drive, I replaced two terabyte with a four terabyte. So upgrades Ooh. all around, and that's been I've been so happy now. But I have had to do a complete PC refresh. So before I uninstalled everything, I pulled everything that I wanted to onto one hard drive. Um, all of the video footage and I didn't bring any games, but just documents and all of the computer stuff that you do. I mean, you know, use computer for taxes and for this and that you need to save all of that stuff. So, and all your game saves and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's in the cloud. I didn't worry about that too much, but yeah, some things I did. Das cloud. Yeah. Yeah. Das cloud. (laughs) I, I did (laughs) save some things. You're right. Um, so I put all of that on one drive, replaced all of that. And I love the new PC feel because I love, oh, I personally so love downloading games. I almost love downloading games more than I love playing them. That's but... impossible. <laughs> if there's ever anybody in the nerds community that's addicted to video games, it's A-Trax. A hundred percent. Full full admission to the video game <laughs> addiction. Um, yeah, but, but... I, I mean, yeah. Okay, I'll I'll let it go. I didn't have a further comment. When you ask somebody <laughs> what their ideal gaming sesh is and they say eight hours, that's an addiction, okay? Like, my ideal gaming session is like three hours, maybe four. You no, know what I mean? I'm with eight tracks. Yeah. You gotta go eight. You. Come on. Yeah. If I can work eight hours, I that. can game eight hours. No problem. Yeah, I get you. I mean, anyway, I, mean, I, could, I I would like to game eight hours. I feel like my the the inhibition is like my butt hurting from the seat or something. Although I got a new cushion, so maybe that's different. New cushions are so good. Oh my god! Uh, yeah. I so I didn't know that. I will new say this: were a thing. I I'm just saying it. The next chair I buy is a Herman Miller. I'm doing it because a buddy of mine did it, and I sat in his chair, and he's a big dude like me. Okay. I sat in that chair and he bought like the custom base, which is bigger. And like that chair moves every possible way. Like the way I'm sitting right now, the back can contort to your body. So even though I'm sitting like straight up, like the headrest would be sitting right against my head. Oh, that's cool. Like What's it called? Awesome. What's the company? A Herman Miller. It's like Herman a thousand Miller, dollar right? chair. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's like a thousand Do you guys have one of these? I call it an under table ottoman. Oh, these guys! I don't, but I have one at the office. And oh great. my god, these are fantastic! So Ooh, zippers undone. I um, <laughs> I use so zoom. I have a sub for uh, some Bose speakers that I have. Okay, and that's what I use as my ottoman. Oh, <laughs> whatever I, works. That's pretty neat. I, I used to do that too, but then I my I configured it a little thirty bucks. I've, so good. yeah. I believe it or not, um, I, I, I sometimes put my legs out, but most of the time my legs are tucked under my chair, hooked on like the wheel at the bottom. Oh, no really? way. Yeah. And it's so like you have comfortable. Your tall. Oh, yeah. Because. Interesting. I, I, I like to be. I don't, yeah. Because I'm tall. My legs are long, I guess. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I like my chair to always be as high as it goes. Interesting. I like my, this one doesn't have a, the chair that I have right now doesn't have uh, adjustable arms. Yeah. So I adjust it so that the arms are parallel with my desk. 
so that you know I can just rest them on there and <laughs> that's my right. favorite that's my favorite way to set it up too. I like having the like your desk just continues right into the arm of the chair mm-hmm. it's, it's seamless but yeah I, I like I like my chair my armrests like an inch below oh, okay oh, that's interesting yeah I, I'm a weird dude, but you know the first chair I bought <laughs> I didn't look at the weight rating. And I like my chair all the way up, and I would be playing. It was actually back when, like, I would be streaming, and, like, the bee attacked me. You guys remember that? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a all bee right, in back. my house. And I would, be, I would be streaming, and my eyes would be here at, like, the middle of the screen, and you would just slowly start seeing me. Because I'm a big dude, and, like, the hydraulic would let go, and I would just slowly. That's funny. And I'd be like, go oh, jack it back up. Uh, so, yeah. Do you have footage of the bee attacking you while you're streaming? Yeah. Yeah, there's I, videos of it. Oh, oh yeah. I got God. the clip. I got to see that. There's clips I'll send of that. it to you. No problem. Yeah, okay, thank clips. you, H-Rat. I'm fucking you. swatting it and shit. It's so funny. <laughs> I have like a oh, mohawk for it. There's a bee in my house. It, it yeah. makes me laugh. Yeah, Marcus Every goes full. Time. Marcus goes full, like, you know, terrible kung fu movie. Every time he sees a bee, like outside, inside, whatever, he's just like, Wah! Yeah, I, I fucking imagine everywhere. bull in a china shop. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hate I hate bees. I I have seen him take a regular like carpentry hammer with and smack it out of the air with like the the blunt end of the hammer. No I shit. That, I thought that was impressive. I, fu- I fucking I was like hate Damn. kid shit. I know. Yeah. It's like catching it with chopsticks or something. Yagi do. So, right. Atrax, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do you do you have any games preloaded to your solid states? Uh, not uh, two. I have League of Legends and CS:GO. Oh, and how awesome is it when you fucking boot up one of those games and it's like instant? Oh, oh it is so so, so nice. I I have to be very very careful with which games because I only have a terabyte, so it's only going to be games that I am a hundred percent committed to keeping on there forever. But I love it. Oh, you can it is you can so swap nice. it out. I, the fact that League of Legends and CS:GO are going to be around forever is astonishing because you the, you play games and throw them away so fast. That's true, but they those two games have been around since like you're like a gaming 2015 pimp. for me, a gaming <laughs> pimp. Yes, it's like if they ain't making me money, uh, see you later. See you later. <laughs> he pimp slaps. You got, he, he pimp slaps games, but he's got his two main well, hoes, which is CSGO and... Uh, yeah, yeah. And I got the two, the two <laughs> bottom bitches in CSGO and <laughs> League of Legends. Uh, uh. And and partially Call of Duty, which is actually what I've been playing recently. Lots of Modern me, Warfare 2. Me too. To, I'm uh, grinding. To loop it, loop it around. Yeah, I've been playing with Nick. Uh, yeah. We've been getting the, the rounds in and also Rayu. It's been nice to uh, Rayu. hang out with Rayu again. Yeah. Rayu is very good at Call of Duty. Like, I, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know, medium, I would say. I don't yeah, know. Average. There's no cheers. Like, an average call. Like, I have good games. I have bad games, you know? But, like, yeah, Rayu is consistently, like, top tier. He, uh, and he tracks Forever the people's tank. Yes. <laughs> but he, um, yeah, we got, anytime he would do the matchmaking, I would do, I would be terrible. I'd get, like, I don't know, 0.25 kill death ratio or something like that in Rayu's lobbies. It's all the sweaty, sweaty folks. Yeah, that's tough. Wow! <laughs> that, right, was, that was real, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I it's, I can smell it through the mic. I know! Oh, my oh, God. I, was, I feel like I tasted that. Oh, my God. It, like, <laughs> gurgled. It gurgled. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that... That's oh, you can hear Kitty going. <laughs> it's really bad, she says. <laughs> wow. Sorry about that. I, I guess that's no what way. you think of Call of Duty, huh? Well, oh that's my god! The thing every time I hear the the title of the game, Call of Duty, I just think of a it's a game where somebody's trying to find a place to take a shit. <laughs> In some that's, ways, that's that's funny. <laughs> I guess it's uh, yeah, they're similar. That's <sighs> hilarious. Anyways, Marcus, 
How's it going with you? It's uh, it's going really well. Um, as I've said for the last few weeks, I- I've mentioned that I have um, a lot of like a life changing event that's occurred, and I haven't really talked about it a lot because I've been trying to figure out like life. And what I mean by that is I've been working legit fourteen hours a day for. I can't even tell you how many days Jesus. in a row. Um, plus streaming, plus the podcast. Um, <clears throat> like last night, so Wednesday nights are guys' night. Me, Nick, and his dad get together every week. Storm and Norman. Yeah, and like legit everybody by like 10, 15 when we're hanging out, if we're not watching like a serious show, I legit fall asleep. There's pictures yeah. and videos of it everywhere from Nick. <laughs> and he like once. waits. No, he like waits for me and his dad to fall asleep on the couch. <laughs> and then he takes pictures. But um, so oh, all I'll this rambling, too, all this rambling going on um, about. So I'm going to put it in perspective. So I spend every month on my family plan for health insurance. One thousand four hundred and seventy four sixty six a month. Holy shit. And it's fucking draining. And I've had a lot of um, I've had a lot on my brain for the last year. Like my job cabinet making is amazing. I love it. I've been stressed out. I was doing things that like I shouldn't have been doing and not not business wise, just I was focused on people that didn't care about me as Marcus in my business. They cared more about everything else that didn't. I was just, um, I was just a puppet for them. And so, yeah. So my long ramble to get to this is I actually took a Monday through Friday job seven to three 30, um, not going to say where, um, it is out of, it's a corporate job. I was just going to say the corporate conversion has begun and holy shit, Marcus, that's huge. <laughs> yep. And so I'm working, um, every single night after I get out of work, I get home at three 30, give my kids a kiss and I leave by four, four fifteen, and I go back to work until all hours of the night. And then on stream days or podcast day, I come home. Like today, I got home at 8.15, was able to read my daughter a book, give her a kiss, and I came downstairs to podcast. So that's been my life every day. And then every weekend, I'm working all day. Um, so I'm basically doing three jobs right now. Holy so, shit, Marcus. That is so, crazy. It's insane. Yeah. So That is wild. So I'm streaming, you know, nine to 12 hours a week, podcast once a week, plus I don't even know how many hundreds of hours a week working, Right, probably 120 hours a week. Jeez. I don't even know. Um, but I'm doing it so my family can have an awesome life, and I'm working on finding my balance. Hopefully I find it in the next two months. So if you come to stream and see me yawning, that's why. Right. Um, the three years from now, Marcus is going to be really happy that he took this job. Unless I tell somebody to go fuck themselves because they're an idiot. Right. There's, <laughs> there's a, there's like an 85.7% chance that that is going to happen. <laughs> yeah. It just depends on the person and where you say it. That's all. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, but it's, it's definitely a difference, but I'm doing it for my family and some sanity for later. So I probably have a few more months of this mayhem, but you know, it's all worth it in the end. Yeah. Moving on. Um, I was in a, I think, I think it in before, it, like starting in November, I was having trouble streaming in like content creation, but I think it's because I was stressed out about my upcoming job and everything else. And I didn't feel like myself. Yeah. But man, from like after Christmas 
which is just a few weeks, man, fucking stream. Like I found, I refound my love for streaming. Like yes. I, I'm finding my roots. Like I try to, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. But at the end of the day, I'm a casual fucking gamer and I just want to play with my friends and have fun. Yeah. And like, it just so happens to be in destiny Two, which I do absolutely love. And, but like my goal this year is, you know, at least once a month to play one other game on stream. Like I'm legit going to do it. And I think in two weeks, one of the scariest fucking games I ever played is being remade and being released. Oh yeah. And I have decided that I am going to play dead space on stream. Ooh, and nice. Atrax said he would help me make like jump scares and stuff for me by like the bits and stuff like that. So if you <laughs> fucking assholes want to scare me, you can, because if, if you guys oh, know will. me, I do not like horror at all. Dead space scared me so bad that I would play one chapter and not play it again for a month because it scared the living shit out of me. Like I legit <laughs> wouldn't fucking sleep. Because Jeez. of the necromorphs were coming after me. Like, I don't do horror well. I, I am a either. complete and total pussy. Yep. But 100%. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, me too. I'll, so I, I get I, scared, I but I'll play it. I don't, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I, I, you know what? I, what's don't weird? Care. I don't like horror movies at all. Um, I, but I do like watching people play horror games, but I would never play them. But like I'll I'll definitely like any big horror like all the the new Resident Evil games, which are wicked scary. I like watching somebody do like a let's play of those. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna do, and like I have like, like it's all gonna be tiered. Like I'm gonna have all the lights on, and like there's gonna <laughs> be like three sets of lights: my my ring light or my light bar, the yeah. the LEDs, and then the lights that are on right now in my office, and like. If somebody redeems shut off a light, I'll shut off a light. And then that's a great you know, idea. You know what I mean? And like <laughs> really like get into it. Yeah. Because I feel like that's going to be my way to connect with the community. Because what I've realized is the community wants to see me do things that I definitely don't want to do. That's yeah. always yep. funny. That's why I kept saying push for pink. Right. Which, which is why I changed my lighting. I don't know if you noticed. Yes, I see. <laughs> it. And so. Uh, Clan Knight's been fun playing Destiny. Like, I'm happy to have my Titan back. I have not turned my channel points on to play other classes. Um, mainly because I'm just... I think I would rather, instead of have um, maybe a channel redemption for it, maybe just set, like, once a week, I, you guys pick my class. If we hit a goal of something, I'll play a class. We'll put it to a vote, and you guys pick the class I want to play that one night i'm not really sure but i am going to um i'm really gonna try to like upgrade my stream um you know i've slacked so much like i really wish i had more videos out i really wish you know like the content was coming and there's been a lot of life-changing events for all of the nerds so like i can't be too much of a dick about it because We've all had our life changing events. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah. I feel like it's important for myself to do that because I do have aspirations. I just don't have time. And right. that's the shitty part. I would say that's the hardest part of my life is there's things I want to do. Like, I would love to learn how to make videos. I would love to be able to stream an extra night on YouTube. I would love to maybe do like a bonus episode of the podcast and have Nick take four weeks to release it. Like I would love all of those <laughs> things, but like, uh, I don't have any more time to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, last thing was, uh, I was really thinking about doing a crazy goal okay. on stream to pick the class that I would play on Lightfall at lightfall because the Please expansion do. comes out in 47 days and i decided against it because they would it would just be awful if um, you had to play on like a hunter or yeah it's it's expansion day and you're playing a uh, class you fucking hate because <laughs> you know the community would make me do it right they would pick oh, whatever yeah. the worst thing is yep. 
And if the goal, even if the goal isn't really achievable, I feel like they would do whatever it takes to get there just to see me in misery. And I Probably. love them for it, but yeah. <laughs> 42 days is enough time. That's plenty 47. of time. Yeah. People, 47. Yeah. 47. paid even more. Dude, if people get paid biweekly, they get three paychecks in that time period. So they yep. can make, you can make it work to splurge on some subs or something to get that goal going. Especially yeah. if they know. <laughs> right. I can but anyway, out. yeah, so um, honestly, everybody, it's been really like, yes, I've been working an insane amount, but like at the end of the day, it feels really good. And like Kitty said earlier, I'm really fucking happy. Good. Um, And <laughs> I'm hoping I am going to play some SWOTOR because I do want to catch up on the story. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, I just can't log back into a game and have the only content that's come out be bugged and I can't finish it on stream because I'll fucking I'll, I'll lose my mind. Yeah, I get you. So, Nick, what have you been up to? Well, funny you should ask. Uh, I feel like I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty, like by myself and with Atrax. I've been playing a lot, um, specifically the new one, Modern Warfare 2. Typically, I don't, like, they're not my favorite games, but I, I'm really, really enjoying this one. Like, it's sorry, good. not my favorite. Like, Infinity Ward made this one, and normally I'm a, like, I love the Treyarch games, and I, I am better at, like, the Black Ops series. Like, Cold War is awesome. That's more my style, but I'm really loving this one, especially, like, in maps like Shipment. I'm, I re- like I don't get sick of it because I like I love that super super fast paced. As mm-hmm. long as people don't go crazy with the kill streaks, then I'm so then it gets- sad it's out of rotation. I know I logged in today at my lunch break and was like, oh, I gotta play Shoot House. This is not the same. <laughs> yeah, Mm-mm. yeah. I mean, you can get it in quick play, but like it's random, so you you know what I mean. Well, Bring what's nice about and- playing like a close map like that is that you um you get uh. Like, you can level up fast. If you're using guns, you can level up your guns fast by doing that. That's what I was doing. Even yeah. if you're dying a lot, it's Same. the matches turn quick. You right. know what I mean? But like Nick was saying, when you get all those, like, when people start getting a shit ton of kill streaks, you yeah, can't kill anything because the map is so small. Yeah, that's 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 the only time it gets frustrating. But if people are like, you know, if so, and I'm talking to like big kill streaks, like a chopper gunner or something, and they're getting, and then they they you know reset their kill streak, and they're getting it again because they got so many kills. That's when it gets frustrating. But like normal stuff, like all you know, five kill streaks, seven, eight kill streaks, all that stuff is like for, within normal range. Like if somebody gets a VTOL, that's no big deal. But um, yeah, I, I really enjoy it. Um, I've been I've been. I've been surprised at how much I'm enjoying a, the Treyarch Call of Duty, but like all the guns, uh, like a lot of, I'm finding a lot of the guns feel really good. Like the yep. M4 was fine when I started. The AK is great. I like that a lot. And then I found the Chimera, which is a like silenced assault rifle that's super easy to like maneuver. And that feels like a submachine gun, and it kills people super fast. That's what <laughs> we just called the Chimera. Can we just no, like anytime you reference it's, that gun, just call it the Chimera? It's the Chimera. <laughs> We'll call it the Chimera gun, but yeah. the Chimera yeah. gun, called the Chimera instead of the Chimera. Would yeah, I think it's the Chimera because it's it's supposed it's, to be like the Chimera. Like wait, the can disease can I just mention chimera? one thing about him? Who? I have never in my life ever been so excited to catch a Pokemon as I am when I watch his streams. Oh like, yeah, legitimately yeah. when he catches a Pokemon that he wants. Like, I swear to God, there's, like, <laughs> confetti falling from the ceiling, and he's fucking doing the, the pineapple guy dance or something. Like, he goes oh, my crazy. God, it's a shiny. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he yeah. he yeah. loves yeah. He loves the pineapple. Anyway, sorry, Dick. Um, <laughs> he, what was I talking about? Call of Duty? Call of yeah. Duty. Pineapple. And then gunplay. Pineapple. Pen, pineapple, apple, pen. But the, uh, do you remember oh that? God. Why did you just do that to me? <laughs> oh my God. That was gone from my head forever. For years and oh years. Oh, we, Marcus used to walk around the job. This is a saying, pen. This is an apple. Oh. Uh. Pen, pineapple. An apple, apple pen. A pen. Oh my oh, God. shit. I forgot about that too. <laughs> Fuck. You're welcome, that, everybody. I was You're trying welcome. to figure out what you guys are talking about and then, bing, the yeah. light went off. Um, Call of Duty's been great. I'm really loving it. I, I've been leveling up a bunch of guns, but um, I liked a couple of the um, 
the shotguns are pretty good. I usually don't like shotguns, but I, the, the, everything feels good, you know? If, oh, my God. There it is. Uh-oh. <laughs> Everybody do the dance. Beep, 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 beep. And I forgot this is a whole song. I have a pen. I have an apple. Uh, apple pen. <laughs> I have a pen. I have pineapple. Uh, pineapple pen. Apple pen. pen. Pineapple, pineapple pen. pen. Uh, pen pineapple. Apple pen. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it is really dumb. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love oh the fact God. that you guys can hear that. I don't know if mm. uh, Zencaster or whatever the fuck new software we're using is going to pick that up. Oh, for it the did. Show because you, you you had the, the the ring around your camera. But, oh, like, that's was... so great that I can be like professional Jamie now. Yeah, like it makes me so happy because whoever's listening to this is hating me right now that I played that because <laughs> everybody is singing that in their head right now. Ten pineapple, yeah. apple pen. You know it's gonna be it's gonna be Matt. You're welcome, Matt, for yeah. having pen pineapple apple pen stuck in your Hey brain. Matt, suck less. <laughs> Anyways, what else is up, Nick? <laughs> uh all right, so speaking of scary things so normally I hate all scary movies and stuff like that. Um, last summer I got coerced uh by a gal into watching um this show called the haunting uh haunting of hill house um and it's it's a it's definitely that's definitely scary but it's also like it's more of like a thriller than directly like horror it has a lot of horror elements too but it's really an interesting story and then they made this same the same guy directed that wrote it and it was the showrunner for it and then he also made a second show, The Haunting of Bly Manor, which is much, much less horror and just like a mystery thriller of like what the hell is going on. Mm. And uh, what's cool about this this like setup is they use a lot of the same actor core actors, like three or four or five like main cast. And then they use them in completely different character roles in the next show. So like. Oh, that's uh, cool. Yeah. So like they're this. I don't know. Well, for example, one actress who plays um, a sis- the sis- one of the sisters and is kind of like has a drinking problem and is like really rebelly and edgy. Then she's like the responsible one in the next family and is like completely or That's is like really a, cool. a motherly figure, you know. And then in, so I didn't realize my fast forward to later my I don't know months ago my sister's like, hey, this show came out on Netflix called Midnight Mass. It's really good. It's you should watch it. It's great. And it's fucking awesome, right? It's so, so good, right? Yes, I'm on. Oh the, my I'm god, on, I love it. I'm on. <laughs> I, I'm like, I have ten minutes left of episode six. I started watching it yesterday, but um, <laughs> it's, and there's only seven episodes in it. So, anyways, it's the it's the same guy who made Haunting of Hill House and Haunting of Bly Manor made uh Midnight Mass, which is fucking awesome. So it's a lot of the same actors and actresses again. But uh, completely, completely different roles. So, like, it's M- Midnight Mass does such a good job of like you kind of know what's happening, but you don't know what the fuck is happening. But mm-hmm. then the super big twists and turns, and you're like, oh my god! It, it just like sucks you in in a way that I have I don't often get sucked into like a show like that. And oh. I think all all of the shows are like that. The only one I will say artistically, Hell House is probably is fantastic. But I don't like horror stuff, so it's a, it's a little too scary for me, frankly, to like enjoy. But as a piece of art, it's amazing. If you do like horror things at all, definitely watch that show. Bly Manor is a, was a little weird for me. I didn't enjoy it as much as an art like from an art standpoint. It's Hill House, but Midnight Mass I think is the best of the three. Personally, it's such a good show. It's got the the balance of like not kind of scary, but not not so much where it's like detracts from it for me. And it he does a great job of like keeping you on the seat, keeping the mystery going episode mm-hmm. after episode. And the characters are, I think the characters are really well written. Everybody pretty much. So yeah, I agree. That's such a great show. And when you start to kind of catch on to what's going on, you're you're, you're like, it's too late, you know. Right. And you're like, no, what the hell? All right. All um, right. Speaking of like churches, did you, do you guys like anime? 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. I only, the, I only ca- really watch ca- Dragon Ball Z, but... All right, so the Castlevania series on Netflix is fucking amazing. I've heard that. Oh, I'm going to yeah. watch that next That's day. what I've heard, too. Yeah. I watched I've heard an episode great. of that. It's fucking... The whole thing is legit. I think it's only like four episodes. It's so good. Did you watch it? Yeah. I, I will definitely check that out. Oh, I um, fucking loved it. Excuse me. So normally, um, my next point... We have guys night with me, Marcus, and my dad, Storm and Norman, uh, at the at my dad's house. So they have a he has the sweet man cave set up with the giant TV and surround sound, all that fun stuff. But this week we switched it up and we had it at the penthouse suite, aka my apartment, and uh, it was pretty awesome. I it was nice to have the guys over. We got nice food from our favorite uh, local Italian grinder place, which was awesome. Um, I got the carnivore, just like roast beef and <laughs> bacon. And a raccoon on its stick. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and meat. And then with a side of extra meat. Um, and we watched, uh, we are going to watch the new Last of Us series, but Mark says dates mixed up. It comes out next week, not this week. So what we I watched- hate, what I fucking hate is all these like IGN and all of these places are reviewing the fucking show. And yeah. It's not even out yet. It drives yeah. me crazy. Yeah, like, but that's, that's how they get all their, their articles written and everything. No, I know, but. I, it just it also hypes me. up the show. Well, I understand, but like, I, I would much rather them like release it a day before, not fucking two weeks before these fucks mm. see it. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. Like now, I want to see it, and you gotta wait. Yeah, and I have yeah. to wait. And like, we were excited to watch it last night, but anyway. And by yeah. the time it comes out, you're already over it. You're onto the next oh, yeah. thing, right? Yeah. And and I will say it was a nice change to hang out at Nick's house. Um, it's super comfortable. I I love hanging out there. There's, you know, everybody's got to see, you know, it, it's got a home feel. You know what I mean? You ever go to yeah. somebody's house where you feel like you're walking on eggshells? Like yeah. this house, you feel like you can sit back, put your feet up on anything you want there, and it's completely fucking cool. You know? Exactly. Yeah, that's the vibe I want. Like, be fucking, like, might be casa su casa, you know? Like, it's yeah. just relax. Yeah. Um, we ended up watching Bad Batch, the third episode of Bad Batch Season 2. And, uh, I mean, you guys know... I shit all over the season one of Bad Batch. It's oh, one of the it's worst. I Probably. love it. Pro- the season one I thought was terrible, and I can explain why, Kitty, just to back it up. However, I will totally eat crow and say season two has been pretty damn good. Yes. I'm, I'm well, that's good to hear. honestly shocked. Well, well, they're giving the characters actual development. That's that's the biggest thing. And, that's the biggest gripe. Yeah. And the girl. What's the girl's name? Um, Omega. Omega. Omega is actually like. Omega. Yeah, she's getting purpose and like mm-hmm. her character is growing finally. The first season was so dumb and terrible. It was you could have watched the first episode and the last episode and you didn't need the middle. Right. That was my biggest gripe. Atrax was, I mean, Atrax. Oh my, I was looked at Atrax. Well, oh, I listened to the working to class to nerds. I know you guys. I think that was my first, first episode. Season. What's that, Atrax? I think that was my first episode on the show. The Bad Batch review the one? Bad Batch 150 or something like that. Oh, yeah. That was the f- Wait, your first no, episode ever on the show was 150? 105. I don't 105. 105. Yeah, thank you fucking much. You've been on the show a long fucking time. 105. <laughs> 150. I was going to say, get the fuck out of here. Uh, no, it was... I think, yeah, my biggest gripes are just... There's no character development for anything. Like Every <laughs> character is just stagnant in the exact same personality from start of the show to the finish of the show. And nothing really changed. Like that was my biggest gripe. But in already in season two, totally correcting that. Ever like Echo's getting character development, Tex getting character development. Everybody's changing and growing their mindset about things, and it's it's wicked cool. Way better. Mm. Already. And spoilers completely. Cody is going to be joining the Bad Batch. You think so? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, I kind of do too. <laughs> I I did get that vibe. Um, I got the vibe. Well, he's definitely going to get involved against the Empire in some capacity. I don't know if it's with the Bad Batch. He's going to join with them for a little bit and then jump with the Rebellion. I think he's. I don't remember, but maybe there's comic book lore or something. I got to ask Jacob, aka Billy Bob, aka Gronk in eighty seven, aka the second most batch eligible bachelor in the nurse community. He's the uh, he's my Clone Wars expert. He's all about Commander Cody and stuff like that. So I got to ask him what the lore is of what he did after. But Cody, I know he. Go ahead. Sorry, Cody. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, that was it. I was just like, I, I got to ask. That's all. Cody's going to go find Obi-Wan and go, ah, oh, man, I'm sorry. Yeah. That was a <laughs> shitty thing to do. <laughs> How's it the Baractal, like, by the way? Right. <laughs> what? 
What? Is that, is that what those things My are called? My varactyl brings all the boys to the yard and it's like... Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I, that's honestly one of my like that that noise that that thing made like the oh, what, oh, what? I can't what, do what, it obviously. It's iconic. Yeah. It's iconic. Yeah, it's, it's, iconic. Fi- it's like yeah. the Tie Fighter. It's like between or that the noise charges. in the in the seismic charge are yeah. like very satisfying sounds. That's my favorite sound in Star Wars. Yeah, the seismic charge and the fractal. Um, so we're using new recording software this week. It's called the Riverside, which is what I alluded to in the intro. Um. And yeah, Zencaster has been having problems. We've had guests not be able to connect. Kitty is a prime example. Just it would never recognize his microphone. So we switched to we, we tried out this other software. We've been looking to switch softwares for a long time. And Marcus is like, hey, try this one. So I fired it up. It works great. It has more features. We can play like sound bites. I can um, share my screen with you guys if you want. So I can like we can like watch something. That's cool. Like boom, bam. So you can see this is my just my notes, but you can. If we want to like watch a trailer together or something and then react to it, we can do that. Um, it's really, I can mark, really cool. I can make That's clips. It's, it, I can adjust people's volumes on the fly. This is, oh, my God. <laughs> Marcus can do this. All right, please don't play the whole song. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was just playing with it. No. So <laughs> all of that is is possible. Giggity. And it is like the exact same price as Zencaster, and it, you get way more bang for your buck. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about that later because it, at, when I looked at it, it's actually significantly more than Zencaster. Well, I already now, paid not, for it, so. Well, I I understand <laughs> I, that, but like, don't worry about it. Daddy Vern's got it. Okay. <laughs> wow! It, listen, everybody. Okay, it, it it took us five. It took us 183 episodes, five years. Two weeks in 12 minutes. Uh, oh, two hours in 12 minutes for Nick to pay for something. <laughs> no, uh, it's I, about I Venmo, time. I Venmoed you 40 bucks once for uh, for some, some Yeah, something. back in like 1865, like <laughs> Lincoln was still alive. Reshoe his horse. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, that's that. Fair enough. I, I was due. But... Um, <laughs> I also got a tattoo, which I've never had before, Ooh. and it's a Star Wars tattoo. Actually, I can take out my hoodie and show you. Please hold. Let's see. So so everybody, as as Nick is doing that, I'm not going to give it away, but like, um, he can never deny that he's not a nerd anymore. What does it say? Yep. It says, I love giant cock. Exactly. <laughs> no, it's it, so... <laughs> In Arabesh. No, in Arabesh, it's a, it's on my chest. In Arabesh, it says "Do or do not." There is no try. But it's oh, that's Arabesh, cool. The Star Wars language. Yeah, it's kind of like a persevere thing. I also got this very unflattering shaved square of my chest hair. You got to do the whole thing, or it's going to come in. <laughs> that's weird. what I said. Well, no, I'll just retrim it. I'm not going to shave the whole thing. I'll just as it grows in, I'll just retrim everything and then let All it right. catch up. So for the record, everybody, I'm actually a little uncomfortable because all I see is Nick titties. <laughs> yeah, I do too. <laughs> I was gonna say they're a lot pinker his, than I thought they would be. His eyes yeah, are like up those there. Are all pink. right, all right. The shirt's coming back. You on. could dude, dial I am, a phone with those things, dude. I am like, <laughs> I'm like alabaster pale. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, but like your your nipples are like pink. Yeah. All right, well, I don't know, man. I'm I'm a white guy. Aren't they supposed to be? I don't know. Well, anyways, back at the ranch, <laughs> uh, I got an epic dude, when I put my shirt a- on. A farmer's tan, or is that? I mean, I don't oh want to pick on. Okay, okay. No, no there I was. A it, there was a, a lighting uh, thing. Somewhere. There's a lighting thing. I was like, holy shit! Oh, the show, oh, the shadow. Yeah, no, <laughs> the shadow was on there. No, I am mm-hmm. all pale. But um, no, I got an epic print from Marcus. While, while I'm putting my shirt back on, can you explain what it was? No. Well, what did you get? Where's it? What website is it from? I'm uh, so my shirt on. there's a website called Cook and Becker. So if you Google it, the, there are they are fine art print people, uh, like a company, but they all, they do video game art. So they get people artists to commission prints, and it's super limited numbers. So as an example, so whenever Destiny Two came out, there was a print of Nessus that I wanted so bad, but it was sold out. And I looked on eBay and I found one, but it was like four grand for this print. 
Yeah. Damn. So so they, it, when I say limited, how many uh, how many of your print is there, Nick? Twenty five. Yeah. So the print I got Nick for Christmas is um, a Witcher three one. He'll yep. explain it more. But there's twenty five of this print in the world. Cool. It's really cool. It's a it's a like a, a vertical landscape of this like really jagged mountain range in Skellige, which is my favorite area in, in Witcher three. Um, imagine like Scotland meets Vikings and that's Skellige. It's like a series mm. of islands. So it's this really jaggy sort of mountain range. And then like, as these two mountains come together, there's a wooden gate at the bottom and that's like the, your, your path to, to go through. And it just shows like this cool vertical landscape. And it looks like it was originally done in like oil paint um, of that gate in Skellige with like harpies flying around in the background and, and some creatures like, in, in, within the landscape and it's really really fucking cool is it originally concept art uh i know i think this is an artist like rendition, oh, rendition. or something oh, okay or cool. like um just something they made it's really cool i don't know how big it is but it's i don't know at least a couple feet wide but it's probably like two by four or something like that That's awesome. it's a it's a, it's a good size piece of art and it's like real art it's printed on like canvas not oh, just wow. paper it's That's it was awesome. wicked cool yeah, nice. I'm gonna. Get, I'll get it prof- professionally framed and matted and all that fun stuff. It has the certificate of authenticity. Ah, cool. It's 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 it's, a, it's just a really heartfelt piece of art because I don't have a lot of like art art like that. You know, like Marcus has a lot of it, obviously, but it, it really meant a lot, you know. Well, really I cool. I love art and like I love like real stuff that's like actual numbered art. art. Yeah. Because it means like, hey, this is a piece of something and like someday that piece of art, it, it, there's only 25 of them in the world. So, right. you know, it could be The Witcher 4 comes out and then all of a sudden pe- the craze for the new Witcher stuff and you realize, holy shit, this piece of history that I have is worth a lot know, or worth really that. in demand. Yeah, right. It's really cool. It was an awesome, um, awesome gift. And it's it's something that uh, like. As you guys can see, like, I love it. And it just is, it's a piece of real. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's it for me. Uh, Marcus, what do, you, what do we have for Destiny 2? So uh, Destiny 2, we got the first 12 of the year. Uh, they talked about a bunch of things, but I just wanted to mention one of them. Actually, two things. Uh, Grandmaster Nightfalls, which is the hardest content in the game, is coming January 17th. And the reason why I said that is they have um, some updates. As a little preview of some of the changes coming to Grandmaster Nightfalls in Lightfall, when Grandmasters launch on January 17th, we're making the following power adjustments. They've decreased the power level needed to enter the by 25. So your standard 1580 power cap. So you don't need to grind to get to 1590 or more. You can enter the hardest content in the game. Now you'll be a little under leveled for it, but you can actually get in it, which is pretty awesome. They've de- decreased the overall power level of the grandmaster by 10 to 1620 and then the current power difference is negative 25 so all the enemies are at least 25 power above you is still in effect which is still hard as fuck but what they're doing is making it more accessible for more players and it's going to be harder if you're not leveled up but the thing that is pretty cool about it is it's going to open the gates for people like Atrax who hate the game but want to come play with me. If he's at 1580, he can just come in with me and play it because they're making it more casual. It's something that uh, it's a nice change for uh it's a nice change for the game. The last thing I want to mention is the uh final week of season 19 is February 21st, which 47 days away is Lightfall their next expansion and i will be live day one taking the day off from the j-o-b nice anyways <laughs> um in so. swotor stuff i really wanted to take a second to talk to kitty about the state of swotor mm-hmm. um the state and and you know what do you think of 7.2 and the and slash 
the year in review of 2022 for SWOTOR? Oof. Uh, I found 7.2 to be a lot chunkier than I thought it was going to be. I There's a lot more to do on the story. The story's a lot longer. The Planet Edition is a lot larger and cooler than I thought it was going to be. And, but last year was kind of rough. I mean, I think that a lot of people, including myself, was hoping for a lot more content to be dropped. But, you know, it ends up that they were doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes in order, hopefully, in order for them to add more to future you know, like 2023 could potentially have a lot more added to it, especially with some of the announcements that's announcements that they recently made with uh, a 64 bit version of the game coming out. But so, uh, I liked it. I thought it was good. I mean, I'm, I'm also kind of a, I'm a glass half full kind of person. For instance, I yeah. don't really focus on what's not there. I focus on what is there and just enjoy that. But, you know, with that being said, I would have liked to seen a lot more for the 10th year anniversary. Right. I think that they, they could have done a lot, a lot more or just been honest about it and kind of, you know, not necessarily honest about it, but kind of, you know, we're just a little bit more, transparent with what was going on i agree i can't agree more to that um it's i haven't gotten into the 7.2 stuff like i said because the last time i played it i ran into that bug they say it's fixed it's gonna happen um i'm glad that the story is chunky everybody was talking about the new story is fantastic it's really good you know yeah you can really enjoy it and sink your teeth into it um, I do agree that I wish they came out and said, Hey, we're sorry we let you down, but this is it. Um, as of the 64 bit update, I am eager to see the difference because I have plenty of screenshots of it in 32 bit mm-hmm. on the highest level of quality of viewing. I'm, I'm eager to see what the, what it looks like because you know i don't know how much a 64-bit client is going to actually change the quality it's still going to look like a 10-year-old game with a little more polish Mm -hmm. right you know or is it going to look like elder scrolls online or is it going to look like final fantasy 14 or is it going to well it'll never Mm -hmm. look like wow because wow is like a cartoon but i'm i'm curious to see what it looks like afterwards you know what i mean yeah and i think that there's going to be a lot you know once the the 64-bit client is actually live i think it's going to be a little bit of time as they add things to that client so maybe a little bit more rendering but i don't think that they're going to be able to actually you know click a button and turn it into modern um graphics i think that they'll be able to just add a little bit more textures and things like that also i from what i understand they're gonna it'll make it a bit easier for them to add things to the game and um i also know that they're gonna be uh it's all gonna be in the cloud so load times and things like that should be a lot faster i know that i was on beta for the 64 the current edition that's live right now and the load times were terrible it was Super five long. minutes to get in to alderaan wow and i don't think that that's indicative of what the out what the the polished re, um iteration is going to be but yeah so i didn't what really did the stick game around look like it looked great Looked really, really good. I, from what I understand, they'll be able to kind of add more to the background. For instance, I went on to like Alderaan, and there's a current bug where the trees are missing. 
Huh. And I don't know if that was the reason why the background looked so cool, but like the mountains looked a lot nicer. The castles looked a lot crisper, but it, it looked, it looked pretty cool, but nothing, you know, like you were saying, Marcus, where it looks like a, a completely different game, but it looked right. really good. It looked really good. Yeah. I'm excited for it. I, I'm eager. I'm eager to see where it goes because I feel like, honestly, I feel like 2023 um, is going to be a make or break year for them. I feel like, you know, you're going to have your people who are, uh, who are diehards, but I feel like this needs to be a growth year for them after what happened last year. Mm. And for me right now is I think the game should be completely free to play. Um, because in or you're only, if you do operations, you have to pay to do operations, but you don't have to pay for PVP anymore. Right. And I feel like what's the point in subbing anymore just for operations. Don't do them. You know what I mean? Even if you love them, like, why you're paying $15 a month for content that you've played for, you know, 11 years. You know what I'm saying? Or add some sort of like queue priority for subscribers. So like it's the same queue, but then if you're subbed, you get priority. Yeah, but maybe that's how it is is completely free. Yeah, I know. Like you don't need to pay for PVP anymore. I don't know. So like really the only thing you're subbed for is, to have credits and to play operations. That's it. Well, I think one of the reasons that they, this is all speculative, but one of the reasons that they made PVP free is because PVP is one of the most popular things to stream. And Mm -hmm. streaming is a commercial for the game. So if there's going to be more people PVPing, that's the potential. The more streamers are going to be PVPing. And free is, you know, if that's something that you're going to be doing a lot, you're you're eventually going to sub. But I think that it, the potentially you could get more eyes on it. I just, for me, I think their sub model isn't work. It doesn't work for me. I I'm at a point now where like, do I want to? Like, I have never canceled my sub, and I think mm-hmm. about do I want to cancel my sub. Because, you know, why should I pay a sub fifteen dollars a month just to be able to do operations? If I have the itch to play Swotor, I'll just go do. Um, P- I'll play PvP even though I don't enjoy it, but mm-hmm. or make a new character, and that's all included. And then if they come out with an expansion or an update, you just pay fifteen bucks once. Yeah, I personally would love to see them do the WoW. Um the for instance wow has a um does a content drop like a yeah my brain's you buy turned off. you buy the dlc yeah you and buy then you also the dlc have to pay a sub. and the dlc you know gets paid for by people that get to play it you know i think that that's a great model and i think it would yep. help the game with revenue but they need to come out with an expansion that's worth paying for. You are one hundred percent correct. But like the like sixty the, uh, bucks, set, you know, I think enough people would try it out, right? Fifty bucks, thirty bucks, or however much. I don't know. Well, yeah, well, it needs again, but it need, like Dragonflight is a complete overhaul of the game and completely is huge. Right. Yeah. Right. That's worth fifty bucks. That's true. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and you can't release 7.2 to and 7.0 and say that's an expansion because when you can beat the story content in three hours, it's not an expansion. Right. Well, you know, he- Destiny 2's Witch Queen campaign, we I streamed for like 14 hours and I still didn't beat the campaign. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it, it took me a long time to beat that. Well, think, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Maybe if that they, if they did do that, uh, that option that they would take the time to make a, a, a huge update to the game, something like uh, Gotet and Codfee, something like that. 
That's that the best be expansion. I ever love made. those things. I love going back and playing them again. I really, I would love to see another uh, set of DLC like that. It'd be really cool. But I think I don't know if they would be doing all the things that they're doing to the game if they hadn't planned if they're not planning on having it around for a while. You know all those right. background updates. But I mean, what do I know? I don't know. But I, I'm hoping. You know I don't know plenty. It. I don't know. Uh, I don't know enough about game development to understand it. I just know that their content cycle isn't great. That's it. Yeah, yeah. it it could be better. I agree. For sure, I really agree. I would love so, it. I have a question for you guys. Mm-hmm. So, do you like Star Wars: Old Republic? Mm-hmm. Do you like Destiny 2? Yes. <laughs> Do no. you like World of Warcraft? Yeah. No. You had me. <laughs> Do you like <laughs> Do you like Guild Wars 2? Yeah. Do you like World of the Rings Online? Yeah. Final Fantasy 14? Yeah. Then, then AIE is the place for you. We have a guild calendar with many, many weekly fun nights, also known as Mandatory Fun Night, where the fun is mandatory, but attendance is not. So come on down. All the games that you like to play, we do too. And if all this sounds fun to you, go to AIE-Guild.org. Get our Discord information in the top right-hand corner of the website. Click that big purple button and ask for a guild invite, whether or not you play Star Wars, Star Wars The Old Republic, Destiny 2, Guild Wars 2, World of Warcraft, Pokemon Online, My Little Pony Online, any game that you play, we also play, and we would love to have you. <laughs> That's my spiel. You so had me. I was, <laughs> I was like, oh, we're getting serious here. <laughs> well... So we've been talking for who knows how long because I don't know, but Nick definitely has to pee. I do. So we'll be right back. <laughs> Jeez, Nick, hurry up. We're trying to finish this podcast. And we're back. Meanwhile, back on the ranch. <laughs> Today we are talking about nothing in particular because we're just super happy to have Kitty. So we just want to dive right into the working class questions. And uh, I'm thank you, Kitty, for that awesome voiceover impression oh welcome that. nick is that tom what's the uh, voice actor's name tom kane tom kane yeah yeah what's crazy to me is he does the so that's imitating if you couldn't tell the clone wars opening narrator like anakin, well, uh, wait jedi knight anakin skywalker and his padawan Sokotano. exactly <laughs> <laughs> that's great all right i'll go first <laughs> crisis um, on umbara well wait was, that but well, the point umbara. i was gonna make the crisis. Oh my god! The qu- point I was going to make is that that guy <laughs> also voices Yoda in the Clone Wars, yes. which is two completely different voices. I feel like, yeah, but both awesome. All right, yes. now Marcus, what's our first question? Uh, Ven asks Kitty, "When will you move over to the Star Forge?" Oh my ah. god! Uh, never. <laughs> Fuck Star Forge and everyone on it. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, shots fired! Uh, I have a wow. char- I have some characters over there right now that um, I think a, my main over there is level seventy six, and I just have that character over there just in case mm. there's some sort of big event on Star Forge, so that I can participate. So I get I'm you there. I'm just I'm just hiding incognito but i'm never going i'm satil sean all the way Blech. hey <laughs> um cat asks what is your favorite moment in star wars the old republic mm. mine yes yeah well everybody's well, we'll go well, oh, yeah, everybody's oh, okay. gonna answer that first uh, question was clearly pointed at you kitty but the, my the general favorite point in star wars was the return of vet when you get Vet back. Oh, yeah. I think that is one of my favorite reintroductions of a companion. Because I remember when it when I was playing it through the first time, I'm like, oh, wow, that sounds a lot like the same actor that does Vet. And then, sure enough, it was her. And I was like, yay, because Vet's my favorite companion. So yeah. I was very, very stoked. Also, kind of a... in. Just like Nick, I'm going to do a, a couple because I can't choose one. <laughs> it's I also, free. I love it's it when free. you get your first lightsaber. 
in the game, like when I first played it and got the lightsaber and you go to oh, the yeah. forge and you're like, yeah, that's my favorite. Other that favorite. is pretty epic. Can I, can I give a Debbie Downer real quick? Sure. So the first time I got my lightsaber, it was bugged and it no. didn't show like it light up. No. Rough. Yep. That's what feels bad. All right. What about you guys? Favorite uh, moment in Swotor. Oh, mine's easy. Killing Darth Barris. Fuck that guy. That was Darth great. Darth Cartman. <laughs> exactly. Darth yeah. Cartman. <laughs> fucking circle fuck. <laughs> He's such a douche to you really, the whole really time. One. And then he, you're just like, ah, oh yeah, I'm a Sith. This is what we do. We kill our fucking masters. Right. Kiss my ass. He also tried to have you assassinated, so. He can. He just sucks. Three sixty degrees. Can, he, way though. He can eat a dick. Right. He's like, oh, I'm gonna have my shittier apprentice try to kill you because I know you're gonna overthrow me at some point. Right. So I gotta chop down your your aspirations, literally. And then you're like, nope, I'm chopping you down. I'm chopping your bitch ass, Aaron boy. You're dead. And then I'm coming after you, and you do both, and it's very satisfying. Yeah, it is very satisfying. But anywho. What about Marcus Atrex, what you got? I so I actually took this question a little bit differently. Uh, my favorite moment is Swotor is every time I've mad dashed off the edge doing <laughs> a raid. Um, it it happened. Whoop up, whoop up. I I can't remember what the flashpoint was, but in the end, you're on like a circular platform, and you have to follow the guy around, and I don't know, destroy pylons or something can't i can't remember exactly but there's uh, edges on all sides vault? it might have been Maybe. that one where you have to I, run down and the 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 center of it collapses and you you keep moving down it could be that one i'd i guess i'd have to look it up and see oh man if I could probably remember it based off the name once i saw it too but we were trying to do it on uh I think veteran mode mm-hmm. and we just could not. Oh, I think it was the Nathema conspiracy. I think it might be this one. Oh, okay. and at the yeah, very, yeah, yeah. and at the very end, it's just a circular platform and you have to yeah. run around anyway. So he jumped off a lot. <laughs> I would, well, because you have to dash out of the way to avoid danger. And Ray, was mm-hmm. leading our group. And I think I still have a clip of it where Ray is like, stay close to me and get out of it. Stay close to me and get out of it. And it's a giant blue circle. And I just hit the mad dash to just, <laughs> whoop! oh, I'm safe. And oh, oh, there's another one right off the edge. And it, yeah, because I always thought I would mad dash in the direction of my camera and forget that it's the character, the way my character is facing. And oh. I would just go flying right off the edge. Um, and it happened so many times. We we didn't even complete the flashpoint. It just it did not it didn't happen. So that was it my favorite compute. moment because it was just it was frustrating, but it was also so funny at the same time. Yeah, I like, could not <laughs> remember. I, that's funny, Marcus. Good how about times. you? I definitely, <clears throat> I definitely have to give a Mount Rushmore because there's too many. Um. The cheese dick answer right away is just meeting all these awesome fucking people. You know what I mean? Like yep. so many people I've met in this game are my friends. Yeah. Like like that are my favorites on my phone. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> like you have a, and B. Yeah, like you have a favorites list on your phone and some of those people are on my favorites list. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. yeah. Um that's something there's you don't somebody, put on the box. Right. The there's game. so there's somebody in Swotor that is a very good friend of mine who has an amazing girlfriend and they just bought a house together, but I'm not allowed to tell people that. And like <laughs> when they eventually get married, I can't wait to go to that wedding. You know what I mean? Like yeah. and that's not you too, Kitty. I know that's not the but kitties. My, 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 I'm doing the uh I'm doing the, the mental hurdles here. Right. right. Like I won't ever say, but the person who it is knows who I'm talking about and I care about the fucking dude a lot. Okay. And like you can't make those relationships. Like like those aren't like 
That's not just me. Like, that's years of getting to know somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. People. So that's my first answer. My second answer is the first time I raided with Albus and Jana and as. And I went into Eternity Vault for the first time. I was listening to Max and Seema's podcast at my Uncle Joe's house doing his garage door trim. And they were they were talking about like this raid team needing a new member, no experience necessary, and we're on Jedi Covenant, the server, and I was like, I'm on Jedi Covenant. <laughs> And I, I always wanted to try it, and I did, and like that's how I became a part of AIE, and it was cool. The last thing I was going to say is killing Revan on hard mode. Mm. Um, Doc was there, then Cat. I mean, there were so many of us. Ted from uh, State of the Old Republic podcast. Oh like, yeah, there were so many of us there, and we fought that boss for months. Like months. Oh, I think Doritos was on that team too. Um, Could be. Or maybe not. I, I can't remember. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that moment, like, will go down in history and, like, playing Destiny, like, the raids aren't the same way. Like, the raids mm. are meant to be rushed in Destiny, where Swotor, it's like, you need to learn the dance before you can beat this boss. Right. You know? So I would say that is my thing. That's great. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Quinn asks, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, the egg, if I want to get evolutionarily. Mm -hmm. Egg. No. Technically. No. Because God I made the chicken and then he, he did, and then he made the egg. Boom. Let's go. Well, well, in the real world, uh, the <laughs> 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 I'm just I'm being a douche. Um, no, but evolutionarily, what Slash actually band. happened is is the yeah right is uh, <laughs> um like all creatures like in order to get a new species, you get a series of mutations, and then it's a new thing, right? Mm -hmm. So something that looked like a chicken that maybe it had like different feathers or something or whatever or no feathers or no feathers yeah. it like slowly ha you know got mutated and then at some point it was like a not chicken gave laid an egg and that egg became what we know as a chicken because it was mutated from the other the duck thing that it was before it's the god yeah you know me I'm, it's the god i'm gonna turn oh this gosh. question on its head and i'm gonna say that uh the chicken came because eggs can't. All right. And uh, <laughs> there you go. All we right. Need to bonk. So, so he has asked, like 17 questions in one. All right. So I'll start with this one. Has everyone been having a good month so far? I would say so. Great month. January, yeah. Same. Very solid. My month is great. I'm really tired. Yeah. How about the current season in Swotor? Well, I have not played it, so I'm out. Same, like on, like Shark Tank. Um, I I haven't dabbled in the new season, but if I did, I would just buy it to the end and be done. So you didn't buy it this year? No. Hmm. I'm yeah. I, I, Kitty. I I don't want to be the the negative Nancy, so I don't talk about it. But like. That's okay. Swotor, Swotor really hurt me at 7.1. Mm -hmm. And I've talked about it and I beat the dead horse and like I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. And for me, if something like if they came out and said, hey, X happened at our studio or Y happened, that's what's going on. And we're doing a little rebuilding. I would have been like fucking fantastic. I get it now, but not responding to what has happened and why the content cycle is the way it is. It's just like, I don't know. It's more of like a middle finger. Like Marcus, go f you're, you don't deserve to know because we're, we're our own business and we don't tell our secrets kind of a thing. I completely when, like, understand like though, Marcus. Like, yeah. Transparency is everything. Anyway. I would love to see more transparency, but I, I totally get it. 
What about you? Weird. How do you like your season, Kitty? I like it so much that I've been trying not to do it because I don't want it to be over. And tomorrow is going to be the day. I'm going to crack it either tomorrow or through the next cycle. But it's been and, fun. And would you say it's smoother than season one? Yes, much smoother. In okay. fact, it's a little smooth. Eh. I'd say it's on par with season two. Maybe a little. I I kind of like it a little better. Although a lot of people are upset because there's not as many cartel coins through the season that you could get. But, you know, it is what it is. Sovi's last question is, how is everyone enjoying the new games that are out? I haven't played any new games. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. I did ahead, play Kate. a new game. What game <gasps> is that? Uh, hold on. let me. F- I forgot the name of it. Was it's- it Hide the Butt Plug? Yes. Well, that's a game that's actually we're playing right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Super, super crazy sidebar. Did you hear about the chess player? That got busted for cheating, like with somebody like sending him signals via vibrating remote control butt plug during no, but a match. I love that story. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah, interesting. Some, some Russian guy who like was beating his rank was not master level, grandmaster level, and was beating like grandmaster level players. And everyone's like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" I got a funny butt knowing? plug story. Yeah, and this, so it turned out that he was he had a vibrating remote control butt plug, and someone else was like feeding him. <laughs> Tactics. The, uh, yeah, but like, how do they even find that out? Out? code? I have no idea. Somebody heard the vibrating as the chair or something. Or I don't know what 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 it was going on. But... I'll tell you how. Okay, okay, so, go ahead. <laughs> do you guys know that there is a uh, hackers that will ransom people's computers? Yeah, I know that that exists. Yes. Yes. Well, do you know that there are um, phone operated electric butt plugs? Yes. <laughs> Does, no. I see where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that you have a uh, a butt plug and yeah. it is operated via someone else's phone and yeah. it vibrates and all that kind of sh- stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, hackers will hack into that and zap someone in their ass, literally. <laughs> Just crank it up. <laughs> Just crank it up. <laughs> crank it That's up. Brutal. That's really. I just funny. thought that would. It, it came to my head when you were talking about a chess tournament or whatever it was, and yeah, some some hackers in there going, "Hey Rick, look what I just found." <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah! Oh, I'll me. show you for cheating. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's wicked funny. Uh all right. Oh, but Move the game it. is unlimited. Epic Battle Simulator 2. What is that about? That sounds like... What was that, like, Wipeout TV show, but it was in it was most, a Japanese show? Uh, most, eliminate, uh, most Eliminated Challenge. Extreme most, Elimination Challenge. Yeah, like most that. Extreme mm-hmm. Elimination. It's basically you, you, you pit armies against each other, but it also has some crazy stuff like T-Rexes versus Jedi... You know, you can go like... Oh, that's cool. Or, uh, let's say, uh, Roman oh. uh, Roman warriors against... Most extreme elimination. Yeah, yes. and you just set them against each other and see who wins. That sounds awesome. awesome. It's pretty fun. Oh, you know, I've, Atrax is I've downloading it right now. <laughs> Atrax is about to be gone for the next 12 hours. Yeah, they have a, they're not Jedi on it. They're called uh, Laser Knights. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's, it's, it's copyrighted. Yeah. All right, yeah. It's really, it's really, really funny. Like I did, uh, how many Roman centurions it would yep. take to beat twelve Sherman tanks? <laughs> <laughs> how many Listen, was it? I was doing. I think I had ten thousand, uh, and they were still getting wrecked, and they were just getting lit. <laughs> it was just. They were crossing piles of their dead compatriots to get Jesus. to the tanks, and they just go boom, 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 <laughs> and, they're, and they're done. Did they but use the? Just, mach- did the tanks use their machine gun too, or no? Just the main cannon. I think it's kind of a 
you know it's round base so they oh, okay. the tanks get attack and then you get attacked but i mean it's not round base to where it's the round stops every time it goes automatic but yeah yeah it's pretty funny and you can put them <laughs> on different uh um like difficulty levels or elevations something. No, yeah, different formations where you could have somebody has a high ground, you know, low ground. and But the funniest one is the T-Rex. Those T-Rex fuck shit up. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, What's the how, name? It's called Ultimate. I can never remember the name. Hold on. It's called Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. Oh, yeah. Okay. But it's, it's, it's pretty funny. But I think I'm going to be doing it on stream every now and again. Be like, all right, you guys. How many blah, blah, blah does it take to take out blah, blah, blah? That's pretty funny. Like I put modern infantry against T-Rex. I, I went crazy with the T-Rexes. They have, <laughs> dude, they I have are. ducks with like yeah, battle ducks. helmets on. Yeah, battle, battle ducks. ducks. <laughs> battle battle ducks. ducks, yeah. Um, <laughs> battle I see the ducks. battle ducks. Yeah, They've got like Viking helmets. That's awesome. No, yeah, they have like World War II helmets with cigars <laughs> in their mouths. <laughs> It's fun. <laughs> this looks fun. great. I, oh, all right. Well, now I want to play the game. I've just been playing Call of Duty and The Witcher 3, but um, I'm enjoying both, obviously. Uh, Atrax, Marcus, anything else? New games? I've been, in, yeah, I've been enjoying uh, Cyberpunk, Call of Duty, Diablo, WoW, New World, CSGO. Jesus Christ. Played up. Atrax plays a lot. And Dinkum <laughs> in the past Damn. couple of weeks. Holy uh, crap! And high on life, and Disney Dreamlight Valley, and there's a few others. How's high on life? Oh, that it's it like funny? a Rick and Morty episode, yeah. but a video game. Oh, it's that's great! It's so great. My there, the there's like an announcer when you first get your heads up display, mm -hmm. and he has this really jolly good voice going, and he's just like, "Good for fucking you!" It's so <laughs> it makes me laugh every time. <laughs> It looks oh fun. man, it's yeah. I, highly recommend go swoop it up on Game Pass. I I can't wait to play that. Uh, Marcus, anything else? I think we went over it already. No. All right. So Doritos asks, uh, would you ever have a pet stuffed and mounted after it passes on? No. No. Nope. No. Negatory. Kitty thoughts. Do X's count? <laughs> <laughs> uh not quite the question but uh if it changes your answer feel free to elaborate uh i think i yeah i guess so i, I would you'd have like a taxidermy if, if taxidermy i had room Nexu. for it yeah and have him like in a battle stance you know, like ah. with the, with the Jedi <laughs> robe on, and yeah, you know, something kind of fun. Little backpack on there. We stick Baby Yoda in it. You, okay, that would be one hell of a cat. <laughs> 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 okay, so when you say it like that and you make it fun, that that I can see. But like, <laughs> just having like a taxidermy, uh, you're you're. It's like creepy, kind of, and like sad. My, my limit ever? would be one. I could see doing it once. For then one, you get pet. addicted. It would just one very yeah. special pet. But I, I could would you imagine just, like having a room. That's no, cool. like you know what that no. reminds me of is if if you were to do that with your old pet, you're probably one of those like China doll freaks that oh, has yeah, all the yeah. China dolls all around your house. Yeah, yeah. it's the same kind of. He creepy puts vibe. the lotion has, on the skin. Has to yeah. have a boot on your neck in order to bust a nut. Yeah. yeah. Um. You, well, did you ever see the guy that had his? cat taxidermied and turned into a drone no what? no just we'll save it for later but google it all right all, all right, right. <laughs> uh doritos also asked as you have watched the the evolution of video games would you prognosticate what the video game experience might look like in 30 years hmm. i think about this all the time i do too in 30 years i see like my like knee jerk reaction would be more VR stuff, but I feel like the technology's got to go so far. It's got to look way better than it does now, and you know what I mean. For to get like a real use out of that. Mm hmm. I just but, wonder yeah. if it's going to be more of a. Uh, I don't know. Some sort of. I don't know if it's going to be some an apparatus, right? Or it's going to be some sort of. Uh, 
plug-in where you have, you know, uh, an actual computer plugged into your brain. Right. Like the in the Matrix movie. Like a movie cerebral kinda. type of thing. Like, right. Because eventually it's going to go to that, right? People aren't going to want to hold anything anymore. Yeah, you just think and you're playing. Yeah. Or, oh, you know, like, uh, I know that they're working on contact lenses that have HUDs on them. So, I don't know. Something like that. I know That'd be that cool. As soon as you can fuck something without Virtually. having to carry a giant doll around with you, <laughs> dudes are going to find a way to make it happen. Oh, and, yeah. yeah. And I see nerds not wanting to do heavy lifting. So, I'm thinking <laughs> cerebral plug-in. Well, those, those <laughs> so that sounds great. I mean, those dolls are really ex- expensive, too. They're a couple thousand dollars, you know? You ever see heavy. guys that take their real dolls on vacation with them? Like skydiving and, or they'll oh, rent God. like a no. Harley to drive That's around. That's a thing? Have the, their, yeah, Google it. Oh, God. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> it's, but no, it's not like, it's not gross as in like a, well, sexual yeah, gross. I it's imagine. gross as in what Still. the fuck are you thinking, dude? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right. it's, it's one level of like, okay, I understand like lonely person, whatever, you know, that, that makes sense to have that thing. I can wrap my brain around that, but then to think like, oh, I'm going to bring this in public. Like it's real human. Buying that's a plane weird. ticket for her? <laughs> yeah. What the yeah. fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's pretty crazy. But yeah. yeah, that's crazy. I, I see this as like in 30 years, I imagine gaming taking up a room like you know how old computers used to take up like a whole floor of a building well yeah. i imagine you'll have a gaming room and you'll go into the room and on the walls will be the screens you know so you're so you're because already they have like a volume the technology yeah mm. already they have the technology to track your motion and so now it would just be up on the screen uh, up on the walls and you can you have the whole room to do whatever and because you know you know you can realist you can physically see kind of the walls then you'll be able to you know there's still that kind of gap of you know you're not fully immersed in the game necessarily with haptic feedback and all that but still it'll you know for the consumer for the average consumer you'll be able to do full body motions and stuff. Cause we already have that technology. It's just figuring out a, the right way to make it immersive. Yeah, right. And then affordable. Right. Right. Marcus. I, I foresee no controllers, no keyboards. Mm-hmm. I feel like, Augmented reality is going to be it. You're going to put on a pair of glasses like what Kitty's wearing or Nick's wearing or Atrax is wearing, and that is going to be your hub. I don't think even like the VR headsets are going to be there. I think that everything is just going to be in glasses. You're going to pop it down, and it's going to be motion controls, or or maybe you will have a controller of some sort, but everything will be augmented reality. We're talking about 30 years from now. It's a long time, yeah. 30 years ago, there wasn't, like, the cell phone was just this little thing that plugged into your car, right? Yeah. Like, 30 years ago, most, like, you were still, I some people were still walking up to their TV and changing the dial by hand. Like, yeah. In the, and, and, like, that chat, that chat GBD Android, uh, AI right? chatbot, like with shit like that, dude, I'm telling you in 10 years, it's going to change. Like, look at what Unreal Engine 5 looks like. Oh my and God, games haven't even used it yet, right? Like game companies aren't even like using Unreal Engine 5. Right. So like once that happens, it's going to start looking like cyberpunk times a thousand. Right. So I think... I think everything that you guys are thinking is correct times it by a thousand. Um, I think the a tracks experience will be like, you're you'll go to a place for that full immersion, almost like that game where like, I don't know, remember what movie it was, but like they were in a shooter game. Um, 
It might have been like that. Gamer. Yes. Like it's going to be something like that. Well, you know what I mean? That is already like real, like kind of possible. You just need a projector and an Xbox Connect. Yeah, but that's yeah, but no, I'm talking about like that shit was like. All I'm saying is, I think that's going to be your ex- experience. But anyways, yeah, thanks, Doritos. Great question. Or it's going to go back to stick figures because we're going to have some sort of EMP <laughs> disaster where we're not going to have any electricity and you're going to have the kids fight over nickels or something. Right. Yeah. That's a topic for a different day. My parents used to take uh, pennies to the parades and throw them out and the kids would fight over them. It's hilarious. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. The Rose parade. And yeah. And now nowadays parents <laughs> would tell their kids don't even touch the penny. It's dirty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right it's uh yeah that's funny well we got a question from albus it says nirvana or pearl jam and why nirvana because pearl jam sucks um i want to say nirvana just because i there's i like more nirvana songs than i do like pearl jam songs but i also like pearl jam <laughs> nirvana because that's the only one that i know and have heard music from i mean i've probably heard pearl jam music but i don't recognize any of it Oh lordy! Okay, Marcus. Um, don't say it. I would say Nirvana because that was my like Nirvana was my middle school music. Yeah, and like that Nirvana made me realize why heroin is bad. <laughs> yeah, like that's when I learned about it. And like, cause why does that guy look so bad? That's heroin. Oh, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. And yeah. But like at the same time, Nirvana changed so much for so many bands. And it was the evolution of just another genre of music. And I think without Nirvana, some things wouldn't be the way they are today. Yeah. Great you know point. I mean? For sure. And we wouldn't have gotten crazy Courtney Love. Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Back at the ranch. A tracks. Vern, I'm assuming that's you, Nick, asks, What? Who would that be? What is your favorite TV show of all time? That's a hard question. Actually, I can I go first? Because I already have that answer. Yeah. yeah. I have two. Okay. Um, oh. All right, Mr. Mount Rushmore. No, I have to because the first one is Lost. Okay. It's um, a good show. Oh, right. Yeah. And the second one is Burn Notice. Burn Notice is a good one, too. I like Burn Notice. Is that with Leary? I don't know. I don't know. It was set in, like, Miami, and he was, like, an agent. I don't fucking know. I love that show. Burn Notice. Hmm. Jeff- it's on the no, USA Network. Jeffrey Donovan is the uh, lead. Oh, okay. I was thinking of something completely different. Um, Favorite A-Trax? What do you think? Or and or kitty. I, yeah, I'm 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 struggling. I think Rick and Morty is definitely one. I'm gonna have to go ra- Mount Rushmore too. That's good. Yeah, and, I'm also uh, gonna do that. Yeah, Rick and Morty is a good one. And then I'm also gonna say Alice in Borderland, actually. Hmm. Um with season two that just came out and with how season two ended, it is it's an epic show for sure. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say those two. All right. Hands down for me is Futurama. That's my favorite oh, really? show a great of all show. time. Yeah, love it's it. A good show. Um, that's a great that's a great choice. I would say bef- Game of Thrones, except for season eight. I loved that show, and also honorable mention to Peaky Blinders. Peaky that's Blinders is great. Peaky that's an incredible Blinders. Show. Yes. Oh, and quick honorable mention to The Office. Just remembered. I've watched oh, an yeah. insane amount of that show. The Office, Parks and Rec, Brooklyn Nine Nine, and New Girl are all fantastic. I think yep. New Girl's probably my Good favorite. Good stuff. But uh, um, Marcus, what do we got next? All right, Mal asks, "What is the one thing?" So this was asked before when, uh, uh, before when you were supposed to come on before. So, what oh, okay. was the one thing you were looking forward to most in seven point two, and why? 
I would say that I wanted to have just some more content than I thought they were going to put out. So I think that 7.2 was actually more than I thought they were going to put out. So I was happily, happily surprised with what we got. That's good. And then, and then his second question is, is how awesome that the Yankees have secured Aaron judge. I'll answer for all of us. Fuck the Yankees. Next question. Well said. <laughs> Camry Khan asks, has any interaction in game gotten out of hand? In, in other words, for, oh, this is for a different episode. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what do you mean? That was, a, that, that was a question for SM Playboy. Yeah, that was for Playboy. That was um, about role playing. Um, oh. Anyways, Tarquin asks, how's the new year been going so far? And I would say pretty darn good. Didn't we already do this one? I feel like we did. We had a very, we had a very, or maybe question. it was the month. How's- which is technically How's same your thing. thing. Yeah, because right. two, 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 it's like two episodes worth of questions. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, still good. Yeah, still, still going great. great. My I year's agree. been, my new year's been really tiring. Yeah. I believe it. But fucking awesome. I did a lot of like self things. Like I got a, I swapped my car and got it registered to myself. So it's like the first car I actually own, which is kind of cool. A, Nick's fucking 40 years old, and he's finally he's a grown-up. He's a big boy. <laughs> he's a big boy. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. He finally he's took your training wheels Nick's off. He's a big boy now. I'm a big kid now. Did anybody have any New Year's resolutions? Or is I, I like don't to believe in them. Revolutions? I'm gonna be, I don't believe uh, in them. Be less. I know I don't actually make a formal one, but I do have a goal. The next question actually is: What are from No Dog Three Hundred? What are some plans and goals you fellas have for the new year? What oh. accomplishments are you hoping to break this year? I got um, one. Go for it. Go ahead. I'm going to uh, start pushing buttons only once instead of repeatedly pushing them. Okay. Nice. And like elevators and stuff. Anything. I'm not I'm gonna hit it once and then just be like, eh? did it work? Especially in my rotations. I'm gonna hit it oh. once instead of hi, 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 hitting it over and over again. I'm just gonna yeah. be like Boop. see what you know, do that because a year before I did uh stop pushing buttons really heavy, you know, just push okay. them light. And I, I realized how hard I was pushing buttons all the time. Like to turn the TV yeah. on, I'm like, <laughs> turning the TV on, yeah. like it's a yeah. button. It doesn't know how hard you're pushing it. Just push it. Right. So I don't know what right. my uh, love for button pushing and stuff is, but that's where I'm going. Button mashing. <laughs> that's a good one. A tracks, what you got? Um, I'm looking forward to my first full year with the working class nerds on the podcast yeah! and just oh, yeah. evolving and growing as a podcaster, as an entertainer and, uh, someone who is speaking, you know, I want to be able to form sentences in the proper way and make sure that it is a pleasant, uh, listening experience for all of you. And also then. Of course, by that caveat, same thing. Um, just making more videos with the working class nerds now that Yay! I've retired from streaming. Yeah. That's awesome. Absolutely. Ajax. Marcus? Um, I want to spend a significant more time with my kids. There okay. You go. That's a good one. Like, yeah. I want them to want me to go to work because I'm driving them nuts. <laughs> That's awesome. And then part two of that is I really want to break the mold of playing just one video game. Yes. <laughs> Eight tracks. It's like, yay. Join the dark side. No, Don't like in it, it, games. Yeah. And in like, cause I want to go, I want to play mass effect one. The, I want, to play like that high on life game. Like even if I just play it once for three hours, like I want to play it. I want to play wrestling like the 2k 22 or whatever the fuck it is. Like oh, I want to yeah. play super Epic battle extravaganza. You know what I mean? Like I want to get the fucking, the, the, the ganja simulator. 
maybe buy like a steering wheel and get truck simulator and do it for, you know what I mean? Or power wash simulator. Like I want to play games. Like it's awesome. I feel like I've been so trapped. <sighs> like streaming really changed the way I game. Streaming changes everything because you're like your community expects one thing, but like at the yeah. same time, like you have to be able to branch out. I'm not saying every stream, but like you have to be able to keep yourself happy and content. And mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. Uh, for me, my goal is just to be less fat. Uh, Daft, pa Daft, pa Duft, Pank, five. Duft. Uh, yeah. Duft. 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 What's up, Duft? Uh, if you were in charge of Star Wars, what would you do to improve it? Oh, I could go. I This is right up my alley. Yeah, Go, Nick. I, All right. I would completely fucking redo the sequel trilogy. Just fucking scrap it. Start it over. Cue the intro. Let's go. Have one vision from start to finish for of a, of a cohesive story arc across three movies. And no, that would not make any kind of financial sense because you would ruin all the merch at Disney. But I just want to redo it. For Can I just... Selfishness. Uh, how about this? Okay. Give 100% creative and control power to Mr. Dave Filoni and oh, John yes. fucking Favreau. Yeah. Disney, yeah. go retire your hats. Go sit in a box. Pay right. them hundreds of millions of dollars and just say go and yes. if you do that you win right that's that's where i was going yeah Done. dave filoni yeah just get just let whatever dave wants to do just go do it right in dave we trust what i'd like you to guys see is real life bounty hunters going and kicking an ass on some of these douchebags on the internet that are just talking shit no yeah just joking I'm with Marcus. I think that's um, a great idea. <laughs> so, my sidebar here, my question is, Kitty, if there was an open world Star Wars MMO, mm -hmm. but it was just bounty hunters, no lightsabers, would you play it? Oh, I'd have to try it, yeah. I'd definitely play it, of course. Right. But do you thoughts? think it could oh. be successful? Yeah. I have a lot. Yeah, Do you think, I think it could. Be, yeah, but with no lightsabers, like if well, as an released, MMO, no. Yeah, MMO as an RPG, yes. Yes, single I player agree. action RPG, yeah. yes, it would yeah. work. As I mean, an MMO, it would not. If it's not an MMO, then I might not play it because right. I'm just I don't know what the deal is with me, but I just it's hard for me to get into a game that ends. I that I, I, I feel like it's I don't know. I my brain just is always knows, oh, well, this is going to end. Why save up the gold? Why do all that? When I know in my head, it, you know, it's for story, but right. I don't know. Kind of there you go. I, so I, I like the ideas for movies and things like that, and I agree with all of you in terms of who to do for the movie side. And even TV shows. I think that a couple of TV shows, maybe like a Old Republic TV show or something like that would be really cool because already we have some great Old Republic cinematics. So even if they just carried some of the story or something, I don't know. I think there's there's some good TV shows there too. But I want to say what I would do is I would go to Gearbox and I would say... Um, please make me a bounty hunter looter shooter RPG. And similar to similar to Borderlands. Similar to Borderlands, or oh, uh, cool. maybe even Battleborn. I don't know if you okay, remember yeah. Battleborn. I do. Something like that, so that people can get their bounty hunter fix and run around and loot a bunch of guns and have parts and all of that type of stuff. Um, and then I would go to. The I would go to From Software and I would ask them to make me a, uh, I, I don't know. I want to say a game like Fallen Order, but for, uh, I don't know, so for something for the dark side. I think it would be pretty cool. Like you have yeah, the you rule could do of, like an older old Republic game or something. 
Yeah. Or like, or like uh, before the New Republic era. Yeah, something or, like uh, that. Sorry, bef- pre pre High Republic, I should say. Like when in the Rule of Two section. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Somewhere in there, you could you could make. I, I don't know. It's tough because From Software makes really great worlds and they establish their own lore, and so it'd be kind of hard to work with something current. So maybe even if they go like way in the future, I don't know. I yeah. just I would find some space for From Software to make a game like to, that. Yeah, yeah, and it's far just, enough away where they're not disturbing canon stuff. Right. If they do exactly. some crazy things. Yeah. Yeah. And then I would get the people who make Need for Speed to make another Star Wars pod racing game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because nice. Even if it was like just Tatooine or, you know, they made like different Tatooine courses or whatever, because Star Wars Pod Racer on the N64 was so much fun. I and remember that. I think yeah, it would be great fun. to have another experience like that. Did you guys see that Nintendo is re- finally releasing the Switch N64 controller? I mean, GameCube controller? Yes. Mm-hmm. You sent that to us. Oh, I did. All right. <clears throat> or you sent it. To somebody, I got. I saw that. No, maybe Joey sent it to me. Oh. Somebody sent that to me. I did, I did see, see it that. though. Um, rounding out this questions, DL Smooth asks Kitty, "How young were you when the Nexu came into your life?" Nexu's only three, so I was forty-eight. All right. All and right, Kitty. That, tell everybody where they can find you. You can find me on Twitter at GM Kitty Kisses. You can find me on Twitch. At twitch.tv slash kitty kisses, and you can listen to a podcast that I am part of called Utini Cast. We record every other Tuesday on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Utini Cast or Utini Cast, wherever you can find podcasts. Thank you guys for having me. What are you guys talking about in here? Find out next episode of. Working Class Nerds.